Hello class, I am Professor Kent Eddy, and as we're all uh, fighting this corona thing, and uh, I have to put my whole Mac 100 class online. So bear with me as I'm learning new software, new software and new uh, hardware. Uh, but let's go through a PowerPoint. These PowerPoints will all be on, uh, on Blackboard. I know it might be a little redundant to be going over a, a PowerPoint on video, but I'm learning the system, uh, learning uh, this uh, OBS um, screen capture program. So anyway, let's just get to it. And uh, once I get this video created, I can, uh, I can cut it down and cut parts like this right here out. Uh, but as you see on the screen class, uh, Mac 100 class, and uh, I will advance that. Here we go. So things are a little different on this class. Normally, this class is a uh, a lab lecture mix. Uh, the lecture is typically done on the whiteboard, and I do hand sketching, uh, and then you get homework with hand sketching. Uh, it's different now. I'm going to have to do hand sketching on a paint program, which is going to be squiggly lines. I just know it. But And you will have to do your own hand sketches following my examples. But before we get into that, um, let's just go through the PowerPoint, make sure that I uh, uh, it all looks right and you can follow it. Uh, so it says I'll be running the Blackboard Collaborate. Collaborate if you're not, if you don't know what that is yet. In Blackboard, usually on the left-hand side, there's Collaborate. And what that is, it's an online meeting like a Skype with many people that can get into it, into the session. Uh, you are either in section 01 or 02. Uh, 01 section is 10 at 10.15 a.m. Uh, and uh, 02 section is at 1.20 p.m. I am going to be here, probably at home, behind my desk, during those times when you should be meeting on campus, and I will be there virtually for you to ask questions of. So I will be behind my desk here or at Kettering, uh, available those four hours, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, for you to directly contact me. Um, this is the best time to ask questions because I... I'm putting myself, you know, in the lab behind the computer waiting for you uh, to contact. Um, but what you want to do, well, let's continue on with this. You may contact me via Skype uh, at prof.kent uh, outside of class times um, if I'm available. Uh, you're welcome to do that. Ask short, concise questions. That will help. Um, you can send me an email also. My mobile phone number is listed there. My office number is also listed. I will probably be on campus and changing that to um, to forward to my mobile number. Uh, you may leave a message if I don't pick up. Okay. Uh, this is important point number four, fourth belt bullet here. Watch the tutorial videos, which I am just starting to create, uh, explaining the homework. Watch those videos first. Try the homework. And you should, uh, you should try the homework before you have questions. Uh, I have to collaborate sessions. But, you know, do the homework so you know what you're doing. And if you have questions just getting started, of course, that's what uh, collaborates for. So you can ask questions. Um, okay, I'm going to try and keep these videos short because they're easier to edit that way. So for, okay, we got one more slide here pretty loud. Um, so it says here, see Blackboard slash assignments uh, for your Word documents. Uh, every weekly assignment, there'll be a Word document with the information on it that you need to know what chapter, what page number the problems are in the textbook. Uh, the textbook uh, is listed in the syllabus. The textbook is the fourth edition of that textbook. The first, second, and third editions, you want to get a hold of a hard copy probably. The fourth edition uh, is in PDF file somewhere. I don't know where or how you get it. Um, but the first three editions you can also use for the class, and they're much, much cheaper, even much cheaper than the PDF uh, electronic file. 
Uh, you can get them for less than a buck sometimes online. And, uh, you know, $4 shipping. So that's probably the easy way to go. But I know there is a PDF file of the fourth edition out there. Look at the syllabus for the ISBN number for ordering online. Uh, all homework assignments need to be submitted on a PDF format, just so ease of use, so I can get to the homework and grade it and, you know, send it back to you with markups. And if people use all sorts of formats, it's going to be a hassle for me. Make sure that all the sheets, whenever you do a, a hand-drawn sheet, you take a picture of it uh, or scan it, uh, and then you need to compile them all into one PDF file uh, and send it to me by email. <clears throat> I will then red, red mark it with a paint program of some sort. If you put a line in that doesn't belong or forget a line, I'll correct it, usually with an ink. Uh, I mean red, red line. And then you will get that, that back with a grade on it. I keep my grades, uh, boy, not on Blackboard, but on a spreadsheet. Anytime you want to know your grade, just let me know. But typically a good time to get to know your grade is like right after the first test and right after the second test and then the final project. Um, normally homework would be due the following Monday after it's assigned. So on Monday of exam, Monday of uh, week one, I would assign the work. It's on Blackboard. It's going to all be on Blackboard before classes start, hopefully. But you, you'd go to the Word document where it says week one homework and you open it up and it explains it. It would then be due the next Monday. Because of the online class, uh, I'm not going to make the homework um, fully due until just before the test. Test day, all the homework has to be handed in or I won't accept it. Okay, you're better off getting the homework. You know, week two starts, get the homework, start doing the homework, be done in a week with it. Okay? And if you have problems, we can, you can work, you can ask questions or whatever, and it can be handed in um, as soon as you get it done. Please don't just keep everything until the fifth week when the exam is and deluge me with homework. But uh, you should get it done, you know, every homework assignment within in about a week. So please do that. Um, so we'll have two tests. We'll have one test on week five, probably about Wednesday. It's going to be an online thing, so I'm going to give you the information, and you're going to, you know, do it online and, and send it, uh, email it back. Uh, and then week nine will be uh, our my solid modeling test. So you're going to be learning solid modeling in software called NX. We're using version 11 now, NX. More about that later. Uh, once submitted, the homework cannot be resubmitted for a better grade unless I reject the homework outward because it's just poorly done and I tell you to redo it, okay? Um, each homework is, assignment is worth up to nine points. There may be several problems, you know, in the homework assignment, but each assignment is worth up to nine points. Some assignments are a lot of work. Some assignments are not so much work. Uh, they're all worth nine points. There will be about 13 assignments, okay? And the homework is worth 80% of your grade. So it's the best way to learn the, the, the uh, material is to do the homework. So do the homework, ask questions, get it done, and we'll be continuing on. So if you're not done within a week of this signed uh, homework, uh, when it's assigned, you will probably, you know, fall behind. Don't fall behind, okay? Because one week builds on the next. Okay, thank you, and uh, good luck this term. We'll get through it. Don't worry. Professor Eddie, signing off. <laughs>